Hey guys, today I'm doing my full face routine which has been requested so much lately because I have been wearing the same look for like a couple of months now. Um, I just have not changed even the slightest thing. It's just been the same every single day for the last couple of months. And um, it's really something that I feel works for me and you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about it and I have like a couple of videos where I'll do like parts of my routine but I wanted to do just a full one. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see how I get my face looking kind of drab and not so hot <laughs> to a uh, more kind of alive looking, then just keep watching. So the first thing I do is conceal under eye circles because they're really bad and also any blemishes that I may have, which you guys can tell even though I don't have any actual like spots or pimples, I always have like a little bit of scarring unfortunately from acne so my skin is not perfect. But I'm using um, Maybelline's Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer in the shade, what is this, number two. It is about a shade lighter than my foundation that I'm using. Um, so I'm going to dot three underneath the eyes because I get really bad dark circles. And then um, I always tend to have like a little bit of scarring and stuff like that on my forehead. Um, I do around my nose always and then a little bit on my chin and then I just blend that all in. And now this is going to look a little bit scary underneath but I really feel like I need a lot more coverage underneath my eyes because of my dark circles. So it's going to look a little bit light but you'll see how it all comes together. I put a little bit on top of my lids just to, um, I'm going to set that later just to kind of act as a base because I don't wear primer every single day. Um, just blend that into the skin. And I find that if I um, conceal, if I use a good concealer, I don't usually need a lot of foundation, which I like. So invest in a good concealer because it definitely makes a difference. You can see already my skin looks clear. Um, I always feel like I got a bit of redness around here. So that's why I do that around the nose and then the chin. And I'm just doing this with my fingers, no fancy brushes or anything. So when that's blended in, it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm going to take my foundation, which actually isn't even a foundation, it's a tinted moisturizer. And this is by MAC and it's their Studio Moisture Tint with SPF 15 and this is in the shade Medium. So going to take a little bit of that, about that much, and just with my fingers, this is going to look really messy at first, but because it's a tinted moisturizer, I just feel like using my fingers just feels more natural and I know it's like applying a moisturizer so you don't really need a brush. And this gives you um, about a medium to light coverage, but if you use it, like I said, with a good concealer, it will really work super well. And you can actually wear it and not worry about, like, you know, your spots showing or anything like that. After that's done, you'll see I probably have a little bit of shininess still because my skin is oily. And I feel a lot more like myself though because everything's covered. So I use Benefits Get Even in the shade 2, um, which is a mattifying powder. And I'm using a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to grab some of that. Um, just kind of, I focus mainly on the T zone. And this brush does shed a little bit so. Um, this is the Sedona Lace pink one from the Professional 12-piece set. Um, so you can see that just kind of mattifies the face a lot better. And because my skin is oily, that's really important. I always carry this with me in my purse and touch up with the sponge like during the day because I do need that. So that's what I do. And then make sure you get your eyelids as well because that's going to help as a primer. Now on to contouring, which is one of my favorite parts. And I'm using my favorite, which is the Body Shop's Honey Bronze 
bronzing powder in the shade 03. And I always need a bronzer. I feel like um, I just, it makes me feel more alive and um, just more healthy looking. So I'm taking an angled brush again from the Sedona Lace pink set and I'm just going to contour underneath my cheekbones. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this bronzer, that's what it looks like by the way. Um, it's just a matte shade. The other one I recommend is Benefits Hula and I've heard that Nars Laguna is really good too. That'll probably be my next one, my next purchase, but this one has lasted me like almost all year and I love it. Now I'm doing a little bit on the temples and my forehead, because my forehead's huge. <laughs> and on the other side. And then under the jawbone, just to contour that. And then I usually bring it down the neck a little bit too, because right now I'm really pale. And now I'm going to take some blush. And the blush colors that I usually go for are like a peachy neutral um, today or every day. <laughs> I'm using MAC um, Earth to Earth. That's what it looks like. It's got really pretty shimmers in it. I love shimmery brush blushes. I know that's not everybody's taste, but I love them. So I'm taking the same, br um, yeah, the same brush and just going to pop that onto the cheeks and just kind of like sweep it upwards. So right above where we put the bronzer. And that just makes my face look so much more alive, I feel like. Next is eyes. And I start off by filling in my brows. But this is the HD Brows Palette. And um, this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, this one here has smashed a little bit. But I always use a mixture of these two. Um, as my hair has gotten a little bit faded, but a little bit lighter. So I'm taking the, um, this angled brush and I'm going to go in twice with the um, ash, ash brown and then twice with the warmer brown. So I'm mixing them together and then just going to fill in my brows. And I feel like filling in my brows with a brush is a lot more natural looking. I mean, I tend to do a stronger brow anyway because that's just what I like. Which is funny because I never used to fill in my brows when my hair was lighter. Because I felt like I couldn't find a shade that matched well enough. But now that my hair is darker and pretty much my natural color... I feel like this looks better <laughs> with them filled in. So that just kind of frames the face better and it might look a little bit scary now but when I start to put on the eyeshadows and stuff I think it will look, it'll start to make sense. So the eyeshadows that I use every single day are the ones from the Naked palette by Urban Decay, the older one, not the new one, I haven't got that one yet. I don't know if I will honestly. Um, I just, I love this so much. So, the shades I'm going to be using first is um, Sin, which is this one right here. And I'm just going in with a flat blending brush, again from the pink Sedona Lace brush set. And I'm going to take that up onto the brow bone as a highlight. With the same brush, I'm taking a mixture of Sin and Virgin. So, whoops, the two of them together. And I'm going to pop that into the inner corners just to brighten up the eyes. Just like that. Next, I'm taking a flat brush and I'm going to go in with Sidecar, which is this one right here, this taupe shade. Again, it's shimmery. I love shimmers. <laughs> I know it's not everybody's taste, um, but I love them. So I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Then we're going to contour the eyes. So just like what we did on the face, but this time with the eyes. Um, and I'm going in with Buck. This one right here, which is a medium to light matte brown. And we're using an angled brush this time. 
um, just to contour. You can use a fluffy brush as well if you want to. And I'm just pointing it outwards. And putting it into the crease. You'll notice I go a little bit above the crease because my eyes are, because of my eyes, eye shape. Um, I have hooded eyes. If you don't know what that is, just look that up online. Um, it shows you like the different eye shapes and what celebrities have them and stuff and you can figure yours out. And I actually never knew this about myself, but a makeup artist brought it to my attention once and um, it's actually really interesting. If you contour, if you've hooded eye, um, an eye shape, and a hooded eye shape, if you contour above your, your crease, um, it kind of makes your eyes bigger and less hooded looking, so that's cool. Um, okay, so I'm taking a fluffy brush, and as you can see, this looks really scary right now, and I'm just gonna blend that out, just to soften all the colors and make it like a gradient effect, and this is probably one of my favorite parts of my routine, I don't know why, because it's kind of like, I don't know, the blending part is like, it brings it all together, makes it make sense. I'm gonna line my eyes, which for me is super important because I cannot leave the house without eyeliner. Well, unless I'm like going to the gym or for a walk or something. <laughs> but um, if I'm going out where I know there's gonna be people, I just feel like I would look like a total weirdo without eyeliner. So it's very important to me, as you guys probably know. Um, so I'm using this. Eyeliner, it's waterproof by Stila, and it's become my absolute favorite. Um, this is in the shade Moray, which if I repurchase this, which I, I think I will, you can get them from ASOS if you're in Ireland, um, I am gonna get the brown one, because this is kind of an olive khaki green, and it's lovely, it's really, really nice. It stays on your lids, or on your eyes all day, but I think I want the brown one, which I think is called Lionfish. They've got weird names, but um, I think I'm gonna get that one next. So um, you just kind of twist it a little bit, and then I'm gonna put that in the waterline. So I'm lining like the top and bottom by like closing my eye and just dragging it across. And no, this doesn't hurt. <laughs> For those of you that ask me all the time, I'm just gonna pop it on the other eye. And then I'm gonna just um, put a little bit on the outer corners of the upper lash line, not too much. Uh, if I were doing like an evening look, I would probably go out um, or do a bit more, but I'm not, because this is just for daytime. From um, another eyeliner that I own, which is from the Body Shop, it's the Body Shop's um, Carbon Brown Eye Definer, and it has this little like smudgy tip, and I just like it to, um, I'm just spat, sorry. I just like it to smudge that out. Um, you could use a brush if you wanted to, I just realized I did a lot more liner on top than I realized, sorry. It's just because I can't really see myself in this um, viewfinder thing, but usually I do a thinner line. Anyways, so on to mascara, because that's like one of the most important steps. And um, this is Lash Blast Fusion. I started using this when I was in Italy, and I just love it. Um, I love anything by CoverGirl. I mean, any mascara by CoverGirl I love. So I'm just going to use this on top and bottom. And apparently coating your bottom lashes is supposed to make you look older. I actually never knew that, but um, someone told me that and I, I, I don't know, I never even knew that, but I've always done it because I like the way it looks. Maybe it does make me look older, I don't know. My eyes are done. I finally feel like a normal human being right now. <laughs> Um, I just way prefer myself with makeup, obviously. Um, okay, so this is my favorite lip gloss of all time right now. It's the Duop Venom Gloss in the shade Coral Tree. Um, that's what it looks like. And it is so neutral, kind of like a peachy toned gloss. Um, I don't know why I've just gone off lipstick completely right now. That will probably change. Um, but I usually kind of go through phases of a bit, like a few months. So. And I just apply this, and this tingles. It's like plumping. And it really makes your lips tingle, which I love. It's also um, really minty. 
that's how you know it's like plumping because it's kind of got, I don't know, peppermint or something in it. So, I'm just going to put my earrings in. But that's my entire look that I do every single day. And then, like I said, I just take my lip gloss and my blotting powder with me in my purse and I don't have to touch anything else up the rest of the day and um, this just makes me feel more like alive. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it was helpful for you. I know that a lot of you asked me to do this. Um, I hope that you're having a great year so far and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!